So why did our ancient ancestors choose to walk upright? The forests were retreating, but out on the savannah, they were easy prey. But walking meant they could travel further to find food, and it freed up their hands. Walking on two legs clearly has advantages, but it comes at a price, and it's one we are still paying today. Well, over here, we have Professor Karen Rosenberg from the University of Delaware, and she's been studying this part of Lucy's anatomy very carefully. So this is a modern human pelvis, and it's a completely different shape from the chimpanzee. Completely different, and it's completely different because of the way that we walk. As bipeds, we've had to modify our pelvis completely in order to walk on two legs, which a chimpanzee doesn't do. I mean, this is like a blade. I mean, in fact, we do call this the iliac blade, yes, don't we? exactly. And in us, it's formed a kind of basin shape. Right. It's a completely different shape. Completely different, and the birth canal is completely different as well. Um, in humans, the birth canal, which is here, is wide at the top, yeah. and then long at the mid-plane in the middle, and then approximately round at the outlet. And chimpanzees are long in all dimensions, so it's quite a different shape. So do chimpanzees have any problems giving birth? Apparently not. Apparently they have <laughs> a pretty easy time. Um, the baby's head is much smaller than the birth canal, and it seems to go through in a pretty straightforward way without a lot of difficulty. So do you think that the changes to the, the human pelvis that have come about because of this adaptation to walking on two legs have had a knock-on effect for childbirth? Huge effect for childbirth, and not just the modifications for locomotion, but it's because we give birth to babies with large brains. Yeah, that was a bad, that's a bad bit of design, isn't it? <laughs> it is <laughs> so, a very bad design. OK, so, so babies with big brains would have come along a bit later, yes, after, much later. after Lucy's kind, but over here... We've got uh, reconstructed Lucy's pelvis because I think it's very useful to be able to see the pelvis in the round with the with the sacrum at the back as well. Now, first of all, it's very very tiny, but I think if I put it in the middle there, I mean I think that looks much more like a modern human pelvis than it does like a chimpanzee. In fact, it looks almost nothing like a chimpanzee pelvis. Absolutely. The modifications that happened because we walk on two legs had taken place, obviously, by the time of Lucy. And so the pelvis looks much more similar to a modern human. But it doesn't look exactly like a modern human. And that's because the birth canal didn't have to give birth to a large brain baby. So do you think Lucy would have still been able to give birth relatively easily then? Relatively easily, but differently than in a chimpanzee. So how have you been able to work that out? Well, and, and how differently? Well, quite differently. So um, if we look at the way that modern humans give birth... So this is a newborn baby, by the way. This is a model of a newborn baby. <laughs> um, in modern humans, the, the fit between the baby's head and the baby's shoulders and the birth canal is quite tight, as lots of people know from personal experience. Yes, I know it from personal <laughs> experience. So the baby's head typically enters the birth canal facing to the side, like this. Yeah. But then it usually gets stuck, and so it usually turns, rotates 90 degrees, and emerges like this, so that the back of the baby's head is facing to the front of the mother's body. So the mother can't easily reach down and clear the baby's breathing passage or move the umbilical cord if it's around the neck. Those are things that in other animals the mother can do for herself, but it's more difficult for humans to do. So humans are typically, almost always, born with another person helping. So with Lucy's pelvis then, do you, I mean, do, why do you think it would have been difficult to get a, a baby out through Lucy's pelvis? Because uh, her babies would have had much, much smaller heads than ours. Yes, but Lucy's pelvis and Lucy's birth canal in particular is different from both modern humans and a chimpanzee. It's like a modern human in that it's wide from side to side, but then it has that shape all the way through. So her baby wouldn't have twisted around in the same right. way. It, exactly. It not only didn't need to turn and twist, it probably couldn't turn and twist. So this is really interesting. It means that in order to stand and walk upright on two legs, Lucy was paying a price. She was paying a price in that it made childbirth more difficult. Absolutely.